Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Um, I'm getting to the end of these Nitro Blast tutorials, but I do have a couple more things I'd like to share with you. So um, let's go ahead and talk about another way to really customize um, where your object is getting um, cut up and fractured. That's really the power of Nitro Blast is just so much customization. So I've talked about most of these tabs already, except for the vertex map. And uh, this might scare you a little bit. Uh, the word vertex uh, usually scares me a little bit, but um, this is really not that bad. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, so when we're working with vertex maps, first of all, we need to make things editable. Second of all, before we do that, we need to add a lot of segments. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to have many points to work with. So let's go ahead and add some subdivision into this cube, and then we'll go ahead and click this button or hit C to make it editable. And uh, okay, now we'll go to point mode. Now, when you use your live selection tool, it will probably show up with these options, and the mode will most likely be set to normal. Now, if you've never used vertex maps before, you need to go to this troll down on normal and go to vertex painting, and that's going to change the way that this tool works. Um, so let's go ahead and say that we want um, our fracture to be sort of right in this middle part. Um, this will be pretty basic, but uh, you'll get the idea. So we want this part to uh, be the fracture that sort of animates, right? So we just have to highlight that. And then we go over here and we can go ahead and fracture it. So the first thing you notice is that it's taking quite a lot longer to fracture. That's because it's, it's calculating all these vertex weights and uh, it's kind of deciding where all of these vertex weights are. So then if we hit play, you can see that uh, the, the parts that we painted on are uh, actually able to animate and the parts that we didn't paint are going to be static which is very cool so you can go back to your uh, your static dynamic view and you can see which ones are static and which ones are dynamic uh, you could uh, paint like vertex paint your name into here and then your name would crumble out so there's definitely a lot of possibilities with vertex maps so definitely play around with that uh, we'll talk again later i think i have one more tutorial coming up on nitroblast and that will wrap it up so we'll see you soon bye everybody